Hello everyone, I'm X13 and welcome back to the Aero Team channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build the Bluebird All-American Type D school bus in 1.5 to 1 scale. Uh, as mentioned, this build is in 1.5 to 1 scale, meaning that 1 meter in real life equals exactly 1.5 blocks in Minecraft. Uh, this vehicle does scale perfectly with all of our other 1.5 to 1 tutorials on the channel, as well as any of your own 1.5 to 1 scale builds. Uh, this build does make use of our very own Aero Team texture pack. A download link to the latest version, which is currently pre-release 2, can be found on our website, uh, aeroteam.org. If you can't download the path for whatever reason, I'll be giving some tips to convert uh, this build to default throughout the video. However, keep in mind that because of the odd color of this build and uh, the nature of it, it will be a bit hard. Um, so I would recommend getting that pack if you have the ability to. Um, it is Java only, but yeah, if you're on Java, you should be able to download it just fine. Uh, for dimensions, this build is 20 blocks long, 6 blocks wide uh, with buttons and stuff on the side, and 6 blocks tall with trapdoors. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so starting down on layer 1, first you're just going to find the uh, block that you want to pick for the uh, wheels to start going in. Uh, and this is just our going to be our first wheel here. And then you can come 2 blocks over and place the second one. Uh, now this is a good time to mention again that though this is a black wool block, you can see we've also got black wool slabs. This is the uh, nether brick slab in the Aero Team texture pack. Um, obviously you can use black, use, just use black wool for this application as it is just a block. I'm just using it so I can keep the inventory nice and clean. Next up, we're going to get our dead fire coral fan, which in the Aero Team pack is a uh, black vertical uh, half slab. Uh, now obviously you do not have this in default. If you're in the pack, you're just going to want to place one of those behind each wheel. Uh, if you're in default, you can use a blackstone wall or something of that. Uh, coming up next, what we're going to do is get our hoppers and just place one uh, in between each wheel and make sure that you've got them so they're facing uh, outwards towards the wheel, like so, and that's sort of like an axle design. Uh, next up, come forward with uh, just four uh, nether brick top slabs in a square, like so, and then polish blackstone slabs in a row of four, uh, just sticking out to the side, one like so. I'm also going to get my stone button out and just place one of those on each wheel. And then we can come to the very front here and place three oak fence gates, and then on the very uh, left side, looking back at it right here, we're just going to place a dark oak fence gate, um, and we're just going to open that one up, you can see, like so. Alright, next up, uh, we're going to get our acacia trapdoors in the R2 pack. This is a uh, black trapdoor. Uh, if you don't have the pack, um, I'm not sure if there are already black trapdoors. If there's not, just use a uh, dark oak one, I believe it's the closest you can get. I uh, just place one of those directly behind that black stone. And now we are going to need to do a little bit of roll that it uh, trickery here. Now in the Aero Team pack, because you know there's only so many trap doors that we can use, we also use rails and we've just retextured them to look like uh, trap doors. So the activator rail, detector rail, and powered rail. And activator rail, I believe, has two on it. Um, one for the unpowered, one for the powered. Detector has, actually, maybe activator just has one. Uh, but detector has like um, a dark blue for the unpowered or undetected and a sandstone texture for the detected. And same thing, same thing with the powered rail. Um, it's got a orange texture for the unpowered. And if you power it on, it's got a yellow texture. So, because School buses are yellow, not orange. Um, at least here, I don't know if there's actually a difference in uh, other countries. Um, because they're yellow, uh, not orange, we're gonna first just place the rails in the spots uh, that we want them. Um, and it's okay if they're like on the ground or anything. It just depends on like the re the direction that you're building it. Um, and then now we're gonna just take a block of redstone and place one on top, and it'll become yellow. Uh, now you can get a stick or any old tool, type slash REPL ripple zero, uh, and that uh, binds the block replacer tool to it. 
left click on the uh, rail. If you haven't used this before, even though it's up here, the uh, hitbox is still at the bottom, as you can see. So don't try and click up there. You can click right at the bottom there and just replace those over. Now, if you don't have rolled edit, just delete that. If you don't have rolled edit, um, I believe you can just use a birch trap door and that's got the same sort of uh, yellow kind of texture to it and you can't see really the side of it so it shouldn't be too or the uh, front face of it so it should be too big of a deal of that like window texture on the front. Uh, now coming back we're going to come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, uh, acacia trappers back and we can do that on both sides one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just behind that, place your black wool again. Uh, put away this stuff here. Stone button on either side with a dead fire curl fan again on the back. Uh, black wall if you are in vanilla. Uh, again with the hoppers, uh, just place them on the blocks so that they're sort of going into it. Um, and then behind that, just one acacia trapdoor out to either side. And then we're going to sort of come in diagonally and make a square like so. And then just a single line of them out uh, to the other side to finish it off. And then you're just going to get your power rail again. I'm just going to place this down here and not delete it next time. So I can keep it. That's what I need the top one. There we go. Uh, and just place any block here, doesn't matter. And then right click those over. And there you go. And that is all for layer one. All right, now for layer two. Uh, first, going to come up to the middle two blocks here and just place two uh, yellow terracotta. And then come back diagonally and just place uh, on the left side here uh, two. And on the right side, uh, sorry. Check this real quick. Oh, that's why. Uh, so I actually made a mistake in uh, letter one, and that should be instead of having uh, these two trapdoors here, these oops, that's three. These should just be uh, dark prismarine slabs, uh, which are the yellow slabs. If you're in vanilla, uh, just use probably oak or whatever uh, wood is kind of close to yellow. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. Okay. And then, uh, we'll, we'll actually get to this in a second. Um, currently though, uh, on the left side here, you're gonna get your brown glazed terracotta. Now in the arrow key pack, that is, depending on the way you place it, a half yellow, half black block, and it's also uh, half clay, half black, but we don't need those. Uh, we just need this one here with the yellow on the bottom and the black on the top. So depending on which way you're building the bus, it depends on how you're going to place it. Uh, for me, I'm placing it facing this way. So first, actually, we can use our nether brick stairs and just come back by two like so. And then just go brown glazed terracotta. And you're going to go I'm gonna do seven blocks back with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like so. And that gives you those sort of black um, plastic pieces on the side of the bus. I believe they're um, uh, like uh, scrape preventers. So if the bus accidentally like brushes up along like another car or something, it won't uh, damage the paint job or anything. It just damages those little uh, black things on the side. Um, now the left side is going to be a little bit different as well as the front here. It's a little bit uh, hard to do. Uh, real quick though, you can just place some buttons here. Um, we're going to need a blackstone button, which I already have, and an oak button. Uh, oak button can just go on this first terracotta and then a polished blackstone on that second one. Now here we're going to place a nether brick wall, that's a black wall in the arrow team pack. Um, this is not the correct orientation of the wall, however. Um, what we really want is it actually to face the other way around, so it to, so we want this one to be on this side and vice versa. So to do that, 
I'm just going to place this sort of pattern here, and I'm making it too high so that you don't get these little dips here. We don't want those. And I'm just going to place a temporary block inside both of these. And then make our two little structures here. This one uh, that I built on the right side will go on the right. And actually, before we do this, um, I'm going to get out a jungle button, which is a white button in the pack. Use birch if you're in uh, vanilla. And place those on there so that I uh, then, when I select this wall and paste it over, it will just stay there. And same thing with the other wall. Just like so. Uh, now that wall, I'm actually going to keep the same for a second because we've got the door on this side. So obviously this is where everyone enters and exits the bus. Uh, so it is important to have a door that it would be a pretty bad bus if it didn't have a door on it. Uh, so again, we can get out our rails and redstone, which I actually have over here. Um, and this time, I'm going to place them like so. So you get this um, one facing like this. And just this temporary block, paste that over. And then uh, over the wheel, we can just do the stairs again. And then now, this is a bit of a tricky part. Um, so again, with the vertical slabs, normally we use coral in the pack. Um, you can see these are all the slabs. Um, however, there's not enough for you know all the blocks that we want to have. So we have started putting them on doors. Um, and these are a little bit tricky to get because you can get on just this one door, the warp door. You can get blue, brown, uh, different shade of blue, and yellow, and then also, like, there's a, yeah, and then also, like, oak, green, black, and white. So there's a whole slew of ones you can get. The one that we want, though, is a yellow one facing, like, so. So you might have to play around with it a little bit, um, like, depending on the way that you're placing it. There we go. So this is the one we want. You can just left click. Uh, with your replace stick, and then any temporary block, and just paste that over. And that's a nice, you know, size for it. Or we don't want it to be uh, too wide or uh, too small. I'll just delete that. Um, okay, now what we're gonna do is place uh, two blocks of endstone just right behind uh, these two right here. I'm gonna keep this selected just because. Uh, these are a little bit fiddly. They like to delete themselves sometimes and stuff like that. So I don't want that to happen to me after like re completely replace the door. Um, and now I'm just gonna get my black wool and place two of those right here. So I'm just looking at my uh, guide right here. Um, and now we can just bring these um, eleven blocks back. I believe it will be so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, and then just over this back wheel again with those uh, nether brick stairs for the uh, wheel arch. Uh, now on this side of the bus, it's a little bit different. Uh, I don't really know why actually, um, but yes, it's a small bit different. So again, you can get your uh, brown glazed terracotta. And actually, I forgot to mention, but if you're in vanilla, obviously you do not have um, half black, half yellow blocks. So instead, you can just place the uh, black blocks inside and then get whatever yellow slab you'd like to use and place it like so. And then as we stack the bus up, you can like, keep doing that um, like this and it will look pretty good. Um, it's just that we have the you know opportunity to just use these yellow black blocks, so we might as well do that. Um, now we can uh, start on the right side with our brown glazed terracotta. So we're first going to come back three blocks. Oops, wrong orientation. There we go. Three blocks, and then you're going to get your dark prismarine stairs, which is a yellow stair. I'm not sure it's really not organized right now, is it? Um, place one of those facing inwards, and then, let's see, actually I have to check this real quick. Sorry about, ah, okay, that's one. So you're not going to do that. Um, you're only going to place one brown glazed terracotta, then your dark prismarine stair, then three of those, uh, brown terracotta, yeah, brown glazed terracotta, 
Dark Prism reads Jared, this time facing forward, however. Um, and then one more brown, gla brown glazed terracotta. And nether brick stairs over that wheel, like so. Uh, now moving back from that, get your yellow terracotta out again. And just place a square of that in the middle here. And actually, I believe I've done this wrong. Yes, one more brown glazed terracotta. Sorry about this. And then you can just place black wall in the middle of that. Um, yellow terracotta, you want a little cube of it there. Uh, and then here, what we're going to be doing is, uh, well actually first we can just place a line of brown glazed terracotta this time, facing the other way though, which one is it? The black on the bottom, yellow on the top, this one. Uh, there we go. Like so, for that uh, rear bumper there. And now we're going to be uh, using those warped doors again to uh, get the uh, vertical slabs here. So we can just place temporary blocks in this place. And if you can get the replace stick out, we've already got that one from here, so we can just reuse it there. Um, and then, let's see here. Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay. And there we go, we have the other one. And that's just to create a small little vent in the side. Um, that's just sort of the best way to do it with like a slightly miscolored block. I'm just going to be that real quick. Let me take a second. Um, now we can do a little button detailing. Uh, so we've got, let's see here, a jingle sign. Uh, polished black stone button and a dark oak button. So dark oak button on either side of these blocks. And then two polished black stone buttons in the middle and a jungle sign on the left side only. And I believe that will do it. I'm just gonna check real quick because this layer has not been easy. Uh, yep, that is gonna be all for layer two. All right, now for layer three. Um, first, you're just going to come up to the front over these uh, two yellow terracottas and just place two of your dark prismarine slabs with two endstone bricks behind that. Uh, that's for the start of the uh, main front window. Uh, next, on the left side only, we can just do uh, two stairs facing inwards to create um, a one block gap right here. And also fill that with stone bricks. Actually, we're going to create a whole square of stone, or sorry, not stone bricks, uh, end stone bricks there. Um, let's see here. Sorry. Um, moving on from that. Uh, now we're going to get our our uh, vertical slabs out again. Um, so we can. Just grab them again from this back area, because um, I don't want to have to like replace those doors and everything. Uh, just place a temporary block on here. Um, I'm actually going to select that real quick, just to make sure that doesn't break when I put that over it, and it does not. And then we can just paste that over, like so. Uh, the right side's going to be a little bit more complicated, um, because we have a uh, rail right here that's got to go on. So instead what I'm going to do is place two, paste that over, and then now we've got this block set up so that when we paste the rail over, um, we can just have that. And I'm also going to place a third one back so we can place the uh, next vertical slab up for the door. Uh, now take that powered rail and just paste that again one block up. And that is it for the door. Uh, this uh, on this level. Um, also, in terms of buttons, always more buttons. Um, just place a couple uh, temporary blocks around. Two on this front area right here. Um, I don't believe there's any on the right side. No, nope, there's not. Um, and then I think I also missed one in the last there, so there should also be one just right there. Um, now we can just paste the polished blackstone buttons over again, like we've been doing it before. And again, if you don't have rolled it, these are not massive details, so it's fine if you have to leave those out. Um, let's see, moving on here. 
So now what we're going to do is do, if you're on the server installing this, you do slash hdb search or any server that's got the uh, head database uh, plugin in it. Uh, hdb search and then I just do black and just click through the pages until you're through the letters and start seeing blocks and stuff. And the one we want is one of these uh, black rolls right here. Um, if you want the ID, it's 18236. I don't know exactly how you get them from IDs, but I know I'm pretty sure that's possible. So if you're able to do that, yeah, it's uh, just write it out. You can go back to play that back uh, and just place one of those out on this vertical slab here. Uh, and then on the left side here, we're just going to place one add to this block and then I'm gonna get a iron bar and place it like so and just roll it rolled edit that over and then it's all glitched there we go uh, just like that and that's for the uh, rear view mirrors um next up coming back we have again our brown glazed terracotta and we're gonna bring this back uh, seven, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then on that eighth block, one yellow terracotta. And then three more brown glazed terracotta back. Actually, sorry. Uh, yeah, six more. Um, there's supposed another three in there. And then we can just do um, a actual full block of. Let me make sure this always forgets. So I have to scroll through here. Well, okay, let's just grab it from over here. Yellow concrete. There we go. There's a couple of different yellow textures we've got. If you've noticed, the dark prismarine slab, yellow concrete, and terracotta are all slightly different. So, gotta make sure you're using the right one there. Uh, so that is a yellow concrete. Um, now, uh, just for a couple of details, um, we've got our polished blackstone buttons, um, and then also an oak button and a, another rail, uh, this time the activator rail, I believe, yes. So on this terracotta, uh, place that polished blackstone button, come two blocks back from that, and place an oak button there, two more blocks back, and then we're just gonna mark this out with uh, whatever block you've got. Place a number block in the ground, activator rails on the side, so you get this uh, one right here. And you can just clip that over, and that is for the uh, stop sign that can kind of uh, flip out on the side of the bus. If you're not in the Aero Team Pack, uh, you can either use a, I believe, Acacia trapdoor here. It's got like that sort of orangey texture, or if you don't want to be uh, that sort of pattern, uh, you can just replace this block with a red um, concrete or pole or something, and it will look pretty good. The only reason we're using this rail here is because it sticks out that little bit, uh, and that makes it look uh, a little bit more realistic. Right now for the other side of the bus, um, this time, around this side of the bus, uh, we go, we go back much further. I'm not sure the exact count, but I believe we just stop uh, right here. There's just going to be a yellow terracotta right here over this uh, last brown terracotta, and we can just fill in the gaps here. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks back. On that first uh, block right there, just a oak button. Uh, and then back from that, uh, two more brown glazed terracotta on top of those vertical slabs, like so. Uh, and then another uh, yellow concrete. Uh, now behind, in this sort of space here, just place two yellow terracotta, and then you're going to want to get your activator rail again, or sorry, not activator rail, um, powered rail. Power that up and get a bottom one, like so. Two temporary blocks in the space, and just you can place those two like that. Again, in a clean light, there we go. That just makes it a little bit shorter, um, makes it a little bit better to, uh, just a little bit more better dimension wise I suppose you could say. Uh, now dark oak buttons on the other side of that um, and I believe that is all. Just do a final check because I do tend to forget this stuff sometimes. Uh, I think that is good. Alright now for layer 4. Alright now for layer 4 
Um, we're just going to start um, with the front windshield right here. Uh, so we can get our endstone brick wall and we just place, oops, not like that, uh, place a row of four across like so. And now with your stick, uh, if you got rolled of it, just select that uh, middle one here. Either one of these will work. And then place uh, two, uh, what are the end stones uh, behind that, and then repaste those over. So we want the end stone behind it, but we don't want them to actually connect to it um, because that gives it sort of a weird texture up front and we want it nice and flat. So just like that. Um, moving on right here, uh, we are now gonna just select, actually now we don't have to, um, dark prismarine stair, um, and we can just make that, oops, there we go, just make that uh, square window uh, finished, and then make another square of end stone. Uh, now on this side, we're going to do the same thing again with the door, I'm actually going to use slash slash stack this time, so just select uh, with your wand this time. Uh, one of these as the front and one as the back, or one is position one and one is position two, face up and just do stack one. And there we go, uh, just like so, except for that now, we have to look at it this over like so, so that it connects there. So overall it should look like this, um, just to get some extra reference, just like so. Um, okay, moving on right here, now we got the, uh, uh, second, um, what are they called? Rear view mirrors. Um, so you can just place this out to the side, like so. Although we actually don't want those to connect like that. As you can see, uh, just the walls just stay the same like they were. So we just do, just make one of these like little squares and then we can paste over the walls like so. So we keep that windshield like it is. Uh, moving on. We've got two, and again, I'm just gonna select that middle wall again. So you got two wall or two glass panes in the middle here. Uh, just place those down, and then roll that it over the wall. And then you're just gonna want to get a singular black glass pane like so, and uh, put that over. So it's just like that single rod, and that's for the. Uh, oops. That is for the uh, windshield wipers. Okay, moving back now. Uh, this is the window layer. Uh, so again, we're going to get our uh, powered rails right here. And I'm just going to extend out this little thing I've already created here. Um, just delete that part. Um, and we just want this one uh, that's facing backwards. That's so like on the left of the frame. Um, and then we're just going to place some temporary blocks all the way. Uh, seven blocks back on the left side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, and we'll keep those for now. Oak stair upside down and facing backwards. And then uh, I believe five more. One, two, three, four, and five. And then uh, we're going to want another yellow concrete um, and another vertical slab like so. Uh, that's all we'll do of that for now. Um, now we're gonna just gonna fill in this uh, middle area with um, end brick. Uh, what you call it? I forget. End stone bricks. I'm very tired right now. Um, end stone bricks, like so, and then the uh, right side. We're gonna bring it back um, eleven blocks, I believe. Um, so you use those same. Uh, temporary blocks of four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then an oak stair facing backwards, upside down, like so, just there. Um, and just one more. And then the same thing with the yellow concrete and then the vertical slab. And you can just paste that over from below. Um, behind that, we're going to have endstone brick walls just for here. And as for the back window, as you can see, um, and I think that's all that we need to do for that. Uh, now we can just paste over our rails. So just select that. And in place of all those temporary blocks that you place down, you just paste those over. 
just like so. Pretty easy, not much to say. Can't really want to clean light because this stuff keeps messing up the lighting. And there we go, that's most of uh, layer 4 done. Just a couple small details left. Uh, now we're going to get our oak signs and place one of those on either side of this uh, of these yellow concretes right here. So one on this side and one right there. And let's see here. Uh, sorry, just got to check my notes. Yep, I think that is it for layer 4. Nice, uh, pretty short one, just the windows. Uh, now for layer 5 and 6, and that will be the end of the tutorial. Alright, now for the final layer here. Uh, we're just first going to come up to the uh, front of the bus over the uh, walls here. And just come right behind that um, for now. And we're just going to place uh, one uh, yellow stair facing out to the side. Um, and we're just going to come back 17 blocks of that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And same on the other side. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And at the back, you can just uh, block it off with yellow concrete. Um, and then at the very front here, get out your nether brick stairs. Um, and you just place those on top of these walls on either side like so, uh, and then a yellow concrete in between, and that does break that it looks like. Um, I'm just going to grab this from here because I don't want to replace all this stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, fixed. Okay, um, and then now we're just going to place the two polished blackstone uh, buttons in the middle, and one out to either side, just with some temporary blocks right there. Just like so. Uh, and I think the same thing on the back side. Yep. So just the two out to or in the middle, and then one on either side. Uh, like so. Uh, now we can just fill in the middle with whatever block you want. Uh, I'm just going to use this yellow again. And here we go. And now, uh, just to finally finish this tutorial off, uh, we can get out our, our rails one more time. Just get that bottom one. Place that at the front and back, uh, just like so. This just gives the bus a little bit more of that rounded shape you see on top. Um, and then now with your birch trapdoors, you're going to come back four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then place two layers of snow. Now six blocks back with the birch trapdoors. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another two layers of snow, and just complete that in with another uh, layer four. Almost done here. Just for one final detail, you're going to get out your acacia signs and blackstone buttons. Uh, place three acacia, or sorry, yep, three acacia signs um, just along here, like so. And we'll put it one of those posh blackstone buttons right on there. And do the same thing on the other side here just like so. This is for the uh, Bluebird logo on the side. It just says like Bluebird and then it's got a little, their logo, which is like a little bird. Um, and that will do it for the Bluebird All-American Type D school bus. Um, I'm not sure, I mean, obviously it is called the All-American, so I'm not sure if they have these in other parts of the world, but if you've lived in America or probably Canada too, you like 100% have seen one of these things. Um, I don't think they're quite as popular, at least uh, where I live in Los Angeles, um, as like the version with like the front nose uh, bit. This is like the flat face version. The nose one is called the Type C, I believe. Um, and I, I, I want to build one of those. I started one a while ago, but it's not very good. Um, but yeah, these are very common, so you've probably seen one of these. Uh, anyways, that will do it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Congratulations on completing this Aero Team tutorial. Thanks for choosing an Aeroteam video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to use this bus in any public project as long as you give the Aeroteam proper credit. You can do that just by placing a sign saying designed by the Aeroteam. 
If you did build this tutorial, please let us know by tagging us on Twitter at AeroTeamMC or share it with us in our Discord. There is a link uh, below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, we could do all sorts of Minecraft tutorials and showcases, and you can be the first to see them when they come out. Again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm X13, and thanks for watching.